Oh, oh god. <coughs> Welcome, guys, to Evian 4. Oh my god, it's finally here, isn't it? Woo! I am really dumb right now. Alright, guys, in all seriousness, let's get started here. Welcome to the Evian 4 beta. Uh, it's clearly broken. I don't know what's going on with the title screen right now. <laughs> But look at the menu, everything right off the bat, from the music, to the background that's animated, to the the way just the options look on here, oh my gosh. Alright, so in the options screen we can do all the usual stuff here, but I don't think I'm going to touch anything just because I'm so damn excited, let's do a new game. Welcome to Avion. And by the way, I know that uh, you guys have been waiting like four years or something for this. It's since uh, the Dark Thrall Prophecy came out. But I just finished playing the Dark Thrall Prophecy at the end of September this year, I think it was, right? And so I kind of got it easier than you because you've had to wait this whole time. But here I come along and like, you know, right before it comes out. So at least I didn't have to wait as long as uh, pretty much everybody else. So basically you got your pre your your normal like options here as far as the difficulty. Let's do with uh, normal mode. So everything's normal in normal mode, I guess. Maybe I should push the right button. Alright, this might be... Uh, I, I, I swear, this is the first time I've launched the game, by the way. So this is totally virgin material. Yeah, I said virgin. Uh, so Amaranth Games made a YouTube channel real quick and... Uh, did a couple of trailers and some teaser videos, so I'm sure you guys watched all of those, as I did. But, um, so here we'll get to, to see some actual gameplay, though. So, of course we have Boyle, which is the new main character. And he's basically, uh, the ruler of the world right now. But as we know, as we've heard, the story is that this is about to go terribly wrong for him. The heroes have come! Never mind them, my dragon will eat them. They've already pacified him, sir. <laughs> with money! Who knew you could bribe a dragon with money? It's actually not unlike Smaug, I guess, from The Hobbit. As long as he can sleep in a giant pile of money and golden coins, I guess that's all he needs. <laughs> and then the, whole, the, the old never-ending stairs routine didn't work either. Yeah, you probably shouldn't put the switch directly in plain view. Impossible! Were they not tempted by the Hall of False Treasures? Nope! They opened only the green ones. <laughs> yes! Why would you color code the treasure chests? Red is the international color for bad. <laughs> ah, and it's gonna break. Oh. This is already amazing. This is the greatest intro of all time. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, what are you doing? How could you just came here to report all this bad news? They used a mind control potion, so you're not even... Oh no! What is that? Oh, that switch opens the gate. Okay, I thought it was going to be like a trap door kind of thing. So it's interesting that we're playing from the side of, like, the villain. Like, you're supposed to hate the villain, but in this case... You know, you kind of root for him. Your reign of evil is over, Boil the Horrible! Ooh, excuse me. I was hoping to stay out of it, but now it's time to use my secret weapon. Your tricks won't work on us. They have magic armor, huh? You told us about it during one of your bragging sessions. This guy is a terrible, terrible bad guy. Save yourself! And Fang is like his trusty uh, wolf companion. Yes! Oh. This is amazing. 
And so, yeah, a lot of guys probably know this also, but um, the subtitle of the game was voted on on the YouTube page, right? So I think they narrowed it down to four good ones, so to speak. And then they had everybody vote on which of those four they liked the best. And so Shadow of the Mist is the, the title that won. And I know there's a character named Mist, but it's not spelled the same. But supposedly Mist is going to have something to do with the story somehow. So then we have Ingrid here. It's like just the meanest looking witch I've ever seen. My lord. Look at these fools, Fang. Can you believe they're actually celebrating the Blood Moon? Ugh! What did any of them ever accomplish? I used to rule the world! If it weren't for those meddling kids. So, yeah, I think Ingrid kind of hates Boyle, right? And I forget why. I think it was explained already, but I forget why. Where have you gone? Oh my god. She knocks like a... Like an ogre. <laughs> Don't worry, Fang. She doesn't know any spells. Why did you talk out loud? You, you know she's gonna hear you. You're right there. If she knocks over my gargoyle, we're gonna have a problem. A new quest. Not hiding. All right, we're in control of Boyle now. Great. So Fang appears to follow us. Oh, that's awesome. So it's like the whole caterpillar thing where, you know, it's not... But in this case, it's even better because he doesn't just follow in the space behind you. He just sort of meanders around like a wolf actually would. You know what I mean? Well, even a person. Like, a person wouldn't be up your butt the entire time you're walking around somewhere. So they kind of randomized his movement, but he still follows you, right? But he's kind of falling behind here. Come on, Fang! <laughs> you gotta stay with me here, buddy. Ingrid might show up at any point, and I might need you to, like, you know, gnaw her ankles off or something. Alright, so where... I don't know where we are. We're in Wormwood, apparently. They're playing children's games to celebrate the Blood Moon. You and I would never do something so humiliating. Let's go and blend in with the crowd so that the witch can't find us. Oh, we finished the quest already. Dude, what are you doing up there? <laughs> Why did you... <laughs> you ran all the way around. Come, you gotta come back around this way, man. Alright, I think this part was also posted on uh, Amaranth Games' channel. The, the whole apple bobbing thing. Sorry, it is running a little bit slow. It's not so slow that I'm... I'm really that bothered by it, but... I'm sure it wouldn't be so slow if I wasn't recording. So, there's a twist to this that's gonna happen. And I saw the video, you guys probably did too, again, so... You know what's about to happen here. Oh, wait, we gotta gather tickets? Yeah, okay. I just gotta talk to you to do the apple bobbing. All we gotta do is bob for an apple out of the tank and we get tickets. <laughs> Fang, you do it! Yes, that's the twist. So he just, he just dives right in there. <laughs> Good job, Fang. That's actually the only what. You probably should have explained that before the wolf ate it. It wasn't poisoned or anything, right? <clears throat> well, anyway, we got our four prize tickets, so that's cool. All right, now, the rest of this has not been seen yet. So I'm excited to get into some new territory here. Prince Thornhart, ruler of all, collector of tickets. Like, do you want my tickets? I guess you don't. I'll keep them then. My grumpy husband never comes out of the crypt for these events. Wait, what was your name? Cosmopolitania. Oh my lord. Oh lordy. 
What is this? This is like a circus? Looks like a circus car. Alright, just kind of roaming around to see what there is to see here. Let's head back down and talk to this guy who looks kind of like... He's causing some trouble. Laguna Le Rouge. Le Rouge. Guess which bucket contains a ticket and they can all be yours. Choose incorrectly and you must surrender all of mine. Yeah, that is unfair. The odds are against me. <laughs> so every time Boyle gets uh, offered gargoyles, he's like instantly sold. Okay. Of course he's just going to have Fang help him again, though. How about that? I should have seen that coming, actually. He's going to sniff out the tickets. Like a beagle sniffing out contraband. Oh, look at that, dude. That sneaky snook. Dude, there were seven tickets in there? <laughs> Trying to hide them in another barrel. Please, Boyle, I'm sorry. Don't take my tickets. What do you mean? That's the game. If I found them, then I could take them. Um, I talked to you not. I did not talk to you. <laughs> no, he doesn't eat the tickets. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yes. Dude, Boyle and Fang are an unstoppable evil team. Like, partners in crime. They're very persuasive, too, apparently. Convincing people to... Oh, yeah, he eats tickets. He'll eat anything. He's a garbage disposal. Oh, God, it's 30 tickets for the gargoyle, huh? All right, so we need to keep going around town and get enough tickets. No tickets in there. All right. Apparently, we can't get around that way. I have a feeling I, I sh I'm supposed to be looking maybe in other places other than just talking to people. Wait, the, what? Okay, he's saying something different now. If you bite that witch, I'll give you double dinner tonight. Fine, suit yourself. He did say the Kobe ball was all over him. What does that mean? That he just lathers himself up with him? Gross. Oh, God. Hello, Boyle. Raven Lord. Why do you have so many birds? It's probably because he's a bird himself. Weirdo, look at those giant wings. How do you even fit through the door? <laughs> Alright, what do you have to say, Miss Ophelia? Hopefully you're a miss. I've been cultivating this pumpkin garden for an entire year. What am I going to do to it? You can't hide the amber glow in your eyes, Boyle. So it's funny how everybody knows us. I wonder if that's because this is where we live, or... Like, everybody in the world just knows us. Because we used to be the ruler. <clears throat> Excuse me. Holy Jesus... What? <laughs> okay. What's going on out here? Yeah. Not much. You didn't see anything. Go back inside, man. You wouldn't like my kind of party? What are you, crazy? You doing cocaine in there? Some booger sugar? Okay. Can I? Should I not go in there, or can I? Yeah, he's not going to let me. Oh, he's a vampire. Okay. So he's like Tejal and Galahad. Um, oh, okay, we can't leave. Okay, so we need more tickets, right? Well, we haven't seen the menu yet. I was going to go in here and see how many we have. We have 17, so I think we need 13 more then, if my math is correct. Boyle's Revenge. One day, Boyle Wolfbane will be the ruler of the world. Well, I thought he was. So can I... Nothing happens there, huh? Okay, so what I was thinking is that we're going to have to start checking other things, like... You know, nooks and crannies, I guess? I'm not sure where else to find these tickets. Oh my god! Or more flaming skeletons could fly out of the sky and drop some. The Ravenlord's not going to be happy about that. 
Ingrid was supposed to put those things away. What are they? Like, they look like fireworks. Is that what they're supposed to be? Like, kamikaze skeleton fireworks? <clears throat> Help me round them up and I'll give you my tickets. Okay, here we go. Oh, they're, like, playing around with the fireworks. Okay, they're just... I gotcha. <clears throat> but <laughs> I still don't advise riding one like it's a pony. Because it will explode. They're going to run away from you, so chase them towards me and I'll smash them. <laughs> we don't treat the skeletons very well in these parts, do we? So I have to try to, like, court them into going down the stairs. Alright, there, we got one. Those quail eggs are doing wonders for your coat, Fang. <laughs> I didn't mean to talk to Fang, but that's kind of cool. You can actually, like, interact with them. No, you... Mummy! Get! Get! Go down! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Okay. I don't know what you are, but you need to get down there, too. No, no, no. No, 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 no! I gotta stop taking my baths during Peter's shenanigans. Five. That's not enough. Whoops, go up. That was a smashing good time. Okay. Well, I don't know. We've gotten all of the rest of our tickets from other people, so there's gotta, there must be uh, there must be more people we can talk to or something. I mean, she came out of her house. I also don't think I ever came down here, so... Yeah, you're watching these fireworks. Well, there's more fireworks up top there that you... You better get somebody on that, because they were playing around with those ones up there. Ingrid is probably in that direction. Oh, is this... This is where we started, sorry. <laughs> but I didn't come down here yet, did I? This isn't where we came from. Yeah, it is. God damn it. God, I'm so forgetful. Well, if she'd never looked for you there, how come we can't go in? Or maybe she would then, I guess. Okay. Man, that's funny. I walked... She has, like, the biggest house in town, and I just walked right past it. Didn't even... Didn't even notice it before. Okay, well, anyway, so I was gonna say that... The person we were just helping had to leave their house, so can we now... Like, she came out of here, right? So can we now go in here and find something? No? Alright, that is unchanged, my friend. Do we have to get the gargoyle? Because there's other... things. I guess we have to. Alright, well, let, me, let me... I gotta figure out how to get more here. <laughs> Here's something going on over here that I... Nope, oh, the music stopped. You threw off my groove! I'm sorry, but you threw off the Emperor's groove. Whoosh! Out the window! Oh god, more heroes. Leave us alone, we're retired. Oh, this is like where uh, villains go to retire, huh? So it's like Florida for old people? <laughs> they turn them all into animals. A purple frog? Somebody's in a cheeky mood today. <laughs> yeah, I normally make them uh, green, because, you know, like, green frogs are kind of normal, but I went with purple today to match my, my outfit. Because she looks kind of purple. So Ingrid really doesn't know any spells or anything. I thought... Okay. Aw, oh, man, so she's like the outcast. Is she, like, jealous of Boyle's uh, success, then? Or, like, former success, I guess? Would you like to be transformed? Uh, no. I would prefer not to. Those do-gooders just don't give up. Maybe their pet store is getting empty. <laughs> um... Alright, well, 
I wish those guys the best as they're in their new animal lives. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here before we end up as a toadfish. Alright. Two more tickets, man. Man, that's a giant pumpkin. Sid Riddle. <laughs> Solve my riddle, for my name ain't Sid Riddle. Oh, f yeah, it is. It's not like Riddle is in his name or anything. Hiding in a pumpkin. Oh, God. I Why did I push the button? Can I get the riddle again? Ah, oh, shnikey. Okay, can I... Let's open up my journal. What do we got here? Uh, hiding in a pumpkin sprout. I can let you in. Or keep keep them out. What? Alright, well they said something about smashing pumpkins. So, apparently that's awesome. That's a really cool animation. He did like a frickin' 720 and landed on top of it. And I was gonna say something about Smashing Pumpkins the band, but I totally forgot. So now the moment kind of passed, and I'm just gonna move on. Uh, but, so, this pumpkin garden back over here popped into my head. Are you gonna let me in so I can smash those? Or no? Can I smash, like, yeah, there we go. There we go, pumpkin innards, okay. I don't know if that's what we need or not. I should have been paying attention to uh, where all the other pumpkins are, but I see I see a couple over there. Can I smash this one? Another prize ticket. So I might have to smash all of them anyway, because if I'm finding prize tickets, then you know I need all thirty of them. I'm assuming the game only provides you thirty to find. All right, let's talk to this guy again and see if we have what he needs. Apparently not. He said uh, something about being outside of Wormwood, though, so maybe we need to go out this way? No? He definitely said something about it possibly being outside the, the boundary of Wormwood, so... Since I can't exit up there, can I exit down here? No? Alright, I need to find uh, more pumpkins then, I guess. Get out of my way. Alright, there's a lot more pumpkins up here. <laughs> I wish I could make a better splat sound. Because that's a good way to gross people out, if you can make a good, like, just, like, your, the sound like you're squashing a bug or something. Aw, oh, dude, we have 29 tickets now. Where's the last one? Is there, like, one more pumpkin that I can squash? Or is the, that guy, does he have, like, the one more ticket? I am at quite the loss of what to do right now. Oh my god, guys. What the hell? I didn't realize I could even get down here. <laughs> That's where the last ticket is. And I actually, I think I have 31 now. I actually have more than 30. So maybe we're not supposed to be able to f solve that guy's quest yet. I, I've... Just assume that that quest had something to do with getting all the tickets. But it looks like, no, we're going to have to complete that somewhere outside of Wormwood and come back. Alright. It actually took me like a good ten minutes of wandering around before I realized I could get to where those two pumpkins were. Because I saw them, I, I just couldn't see how to get to them. That's how dumb I am sometimes, alright? You have to bear with me. Oh no, we went through all that trouble for the gargoyle and now we're, we're gonna give Fang the... Oh god. She found us! What's she gonna do, cast a spell on us? I've heard she doesn't know any magic, so what's gonna happen? Damn, girl. Hiding? Why would I be hiding? Because you're freaking crazy and you're... Got an evil look on your face all the time? Where is the Murwood? You were supposed to collect it. Oh, the Murwood? I can explain. I love these giant, uh, this giant artwork, by the way, for these important conversations. It really helps draw in your focus to, like, what they're saying. 
So you're not distracted by, like, the stuff around the characters. What is Merwood and why do you need it? You always like to let us know how successful you almost were. <coughs> Alright, I guess we have our next task then. Crazy B is sending us on a... To the grocery store, essentially. Oh my gosh, look at this world map. This is beautiful. I'm in love with this. I'm just gonna sit here and we can just soak this in for about five seconds. Okay, that's five. That's good enough, alright? Oh, seriously, though. Um, I gotta stop the video here. Um... I probably have way more than enough footage for, uh, like, the opening video. Uh, as you know, the release date for this game is December 10th, so, you know, so make sure you support Amaranth Games and get the game. Just do it. It's gonna be the most fun game you've played in a long time. I guarantee it. Alright, I'm gonna wrap this up now. See you guys in the next one.